Morning everybody and welcome to another Blowdum episode. Okay, so if you don't know Blowdum yet, my name is Jan Reblom. Um, and we do everything from spear fishing, estuary fishing, um, yeah, and everything in between. So if you haven't seen any of our videos, please go and subscribe. At the moment we are just about on 30% of our views are subscribers, so please subscribe and please guys like the videos, it makes a huge difference in the YouTube algorithm. If you like the video and leave a small little comment, even if it's just a smiley face, it does help a lot. So please, please, please like the videos. Um, yeah, but today we are here with Marius Albert. Now, if, you, if you're a subscriber, you should know Marius. He's always working on my boats. And so he's manufacturing these two boats. We're going to talk later about the boats. But as you can see, they fit on the back of a bucky. And you can even fit both of them on the back of a bucky. <laughs> but we are, uh, we are here at Niza. And it's absolutely beautiful this morning. So in this episode, you can look forward to, we're going to be testing these two boats. We're going to see what they do with a uh, 30 horsepower, with a uh, 2 horsepower. Power and what's the other one, Maurice? Uh, 7.5. A 7.5. So we're going to test them. We're going to put three people on the boat. I've got the drone. We're going to throw the drone in the air. We have, yeah, so it's just going to be a beautiful day out. And then we're going to show you what bait you can get. I'm going to get try and get sandworm, bloodworm, moonshine worm, and uh, prawns. So I'm going to see if I can get those. Uh, and yeah, uh, see if I can get those four types of bait. And I'll explain step by step how to get that bait. Then we're going to explain how to fish. We're going to take the bigger one out. We're going to fish. Uh, me and Maurice are going to fish on it. Um, then we're going to see uh, what if we can fish for some white steamras and grunters. The water is very cold at the moment in Nice and that is good. Um, if you're looking for it. So I'll also put the drone in the air um, and then I'll explain why we're fishing in certain spots, why it's in the channel, what conditions are you looking for, um, how to bait up, what hooks we use. Um, I'll show you what rigs we use and how our leaders look and everything like that. So yeah, if you um, make sure that you watch the whole video. This is going to be a video with a lot of facts and um, a tutorials on how to fish nice. Now I'll show you even um, bonus during the video i'll include let's say three i'll include three spots i'll go show on google maps three spots where um, is very good spots to fish for um, white stream brass and grunters yeah i'll throw that in as a bonus okay guys um yes i must say i'm super excited now not about the, the prawn holes but um about these rod holders I'll show you later a little bit more about the rod holders, but look at that boat. We're going to get in it later now, but I'm super, super excited. Uh, Marius manufactures these boats. Um, so if you want one of these boats or want more info on these boats, please let me know. Um, leave your name and number in the comment section. Also, there is stock of the new Blowdown Moody's again. Most of you know the Blowdown Moody's. So there is stock on the, the Blowdown Moody's. So leave your name and number for that. And then if you want more info on the boats, also leave uh, your name and number that. Here we've got the two horsepower Parson motor on this one. <laughs> it's, it's absolutely amazing. 
Um, yeah, we could, I think it was trying to drown in the air quickly. <laughs> Two men in the boat. Look at that. That's what you call Tremental. <laughs> <laughs> Two men in the boat. Look at that. Guys, I'm quickly going to uh, throw the drone in the air while we test these boats. Um, but yeah, the reason why these boats are so amazing is you can put a light motor on them and then you don't need a skipper's license. You can throw them on the back of the bucky so you don't need um, trailer licenses or anything like that. So that's the reason why we're building these. So if you're just a guy that's next to the shore, likes angling from next to the shore um, on estuaries, this is more estuary boats. I don't think you're going to go deep sea with these ones. The, the bigger boat does have buoyancy in it. Um, it's actually two molds together, but the little one, there's a two horsepower on it. We're probably going to throw a nine horsepower on it later on. But yeah, um, amazing little boats. I must say, I'm super, super impressed with a with a boat. Um, we're gonna use the little one. Me and Morris is gonna use the the bigger one later on to go and fish. But uh, yeah, it's absolutely amazing these boats. Love it. Okay, guys. <laughs> so they're having too much fun here at the moment. The first motor that they put on the little boat was the 2.5 Parson, and then I'm gonna show you that video now. Uh, and then the second uh, motor that they put on was the s nine horsepower, the seven and a half. It's a seven and a half horsepower <laughs> on on the bigger one. Uh, yeah, so that one was running on a seven and a half, and it ran absolutely beautiful. So now we're going to swap it around. <laughs> we're going to put a thirty <laughs> on on the, the, this one, and then we're going to put the seven and a half on the little boat. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be, yeah, I don't know if it's gonna work, but uh, we'll see. Marty's did build the transom strong enough to take a 30, but ideally I would say a 15 on the, on the bigger boat. A 15 would work well, and then I think this one will do well with a seven and a half. But uh, yeah, it was doing, actually it was doing really, really well with that um, two and a half horsepower on. And uh, yeah, the guys are having a lot of fun at the moment. Um, I need to get some bait. We need to get this done and dusted so that we can get some bait quickly. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to start doing prawns while they're doing that. I might start doing some prawns quickly. Sometimes a disaster, sometimes we are free. Oh, you take the long way to stay close to me. I don't want another, I just want to breathe. You take me higher, you stay close to me. I feel so alive, feel so alive. You don't close my eyes. I feel so alive, feel so alive. Oh, we chase the night. Okay guys, so uh, 
I walked through the channel there, but I'm soaking wet now. <laughs> These are the hoodies I was talking about earlier. Um, remember to like um, and leave your number if you want one. I'm quickly going to jump on one of these boats. They are having too much fun. I want, uh, don't want to miss out. We've got the seven and a half on the one and we've got the 30 on the other one. Um, so yeah, <laughs> these guys are just having way too much fun. So I'm going to jump on one of those so that I can film the 30. They've got two people on it, but they are having so much fun. <laughs> Guys, this water is probably about 30 40 centimeters, and this boat is doing perfectly fine. So, if you're looking for a boat with estuaries, fishing in estuaries, look at that. Look at them planing there. So yeah, that's a seven and a half, and here comes the 30 again. <laughs> oh, this boats are brilliant. <laughs> oh. Okay, so guys, yeah, um, very simple. I <laughs> just got here, and look at those, those beautiful prawns that I'm already getting. Okay, so that's your common mud prawn. Um, yeah, and those are... They're very easy to fish with, they're very versatile bait. You'll catch on, on these ones, you'll catch um, grunter. Let me get the close up on that for you. On these ones, you'll catch grunter and steambras. And um, sometimes you do get cop on drift as well. So, yeah, you're gonna get a lot of, of different variety of, of bait. I will show you later how we fish with them. Uh, oh, look at that. Another two. Uh, this one's got eggs, so I'm gonna leave that one behind. But yeah, you are allowed 50. Make sure that you have your bait licenses with you. But yes, like I say, you are allowed 50 of them. Um, I don't think. Yeah, maybe we'll we'll get a couple of them. Um, but I want to try and get some bloodworms as well um, to show you all the different varieties of bait you can find at Nisla. And the different varieties of bait you need at nice now. Okay, there's another nice size one. These ones are probably your most common bait that you can find and use at nice now. Oh, there's another one with eggs. Guys, please leave the ones with eggs. Let me show you the eggs there. Um, yeah, guys, there you can see the eggs. Please leave the ones with, with the eggs. I'm going to put that one back so that she can breed. But we make sure that we have uh, prawns for many years to come. So please leave the ones with the eggs. There's more than enough of the, uh, the males. Oh, that one. Oh, there's another one with eggs. We're going to leave that one. Too small. That one can go long.
Hey, hey, here we go now. I got to. I don't got to. <laughs> okay, guys, now we're on phase two, and now we're going to be looking for some blood worm. Um, I'm going to quickly try and see if I can find what a blood worm hole looks like and what you should feel for. Um, we're looking for small blood worms. I don't want big blood worms. Once again, make sure you've got your licenses. You're allowed 10 blood worms. The prawns that we just got, the mud prawns, uh, you are allowed 50 of them. But if you're only going to fish for half an hour or so, don't, um, don't take 50 prawns. You don't need 50 prawns. Um, and then, yeah, moonshine. This is all moonshine holes. All moonshine worms. I'm, and there's a pencil bed hole. Okay, let me show you. That's how a moonshine hole looks like. Um, I'm going to get a wire just now, but that's how a moonshine worm holes look, looks like, right there. I'll take one of the wires and I'll explain now, but I just want to get some blood worms quickly, um, and then we'll start working on the moonshine worms. And maybe if we can find some pencil bait, but I don't think we'll be able to find some pencil It looks bait. like a keyhole, like that. It's a pencil bait, that's also a pencil bait, you can see it's a keyhole. There's loads of pencil bait on here, but this is what we're looking for at the moment, we're looking for blood worm. Okay. So this is what we're looking for. See this little nice little blowhole there? And a, a, a gap like that. So if it's nice and soft there, yes, which it is, um, the, the, that's, that's a dead giveaway that that is a blood hole, the blood worm hole. Just gonna take my top off quickly. Then you pump. And this is the not so nice part in the winter months. We have to stick your hand in the hole and go looking for it. Oh, it's cold. Oh. Oh. Okay, not in there. So we keep searching. Oh, he's going like what I took. I say, well right. done. And there's our blood worm. Okay, did you hear that sound that it made? That's a giveaway. So, yeah, it's actually sitting like this inside the hole. But yeah, there is a beautiful blood worm. That's our little blood worm, or not a little. It's a nice sized blood worm. And we'll show you later on how to bite that up. But we want 10 of those. Preferably smaller ones than that. Here we go. You hear that sound? And there it is. There's another one. Boop, boop. Nice, well done. Oh! <laughs> Beauty! Oh! Nice, good luck. Nice, good luck. Nice, say. Yes. I grow it slang at the way. The doctor way. The swart beauter way. The swart beauter Beauty. Now what? Nice, beauty. Well done. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice. 
Ja, de prøver alt. Og se. Okay, guys, this is actually a little bit too big for what we're looking for. So we're letting it down in there. And once you're down in there as far as you can go, you start pulling it out and then hopefully you hook the worm, which I did not. <laughs> I've got a piece. Okay, so that is that is how a moonshine worm looks like. This is a is only a piece of one, actually broke. But yeah, that's how it looks like. So um, at least I know how to to get one now. But uh, I need to get one out whole, not broken. Jump forward. Forward. Hoe? Hoe verloor je om? Ik heb het opgewonnen geraakt. Hak het je in. I finally got one. I finally managed to get one. Okay, so that is a moonshine worm. Woohoo, I finally got one. Yeah, get the nose keeper. Yeah, second one. Oh, this is a nice big one. Yeah, get them now. Get them now. Yeah, and you have a three for three. Your D got track of some two over him side. Check it. Okay, so the last bit that we're going to collect now is the sandworm. Sandworm is the hardest work, but you need to wait until the water is actually pushing, the tide is actually pushing. Um, because, you, yeah, the, 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 you can't pump it pump on dry land. So what you're going to do is you find the hole. Um, the hole looks like, uh, this is a perfect example of how a sandworm hole looks like. There. Okay, so it like, looks like a bird. Shit, the, on the sand. <laughs> I made a dropping on the sand. <laughs> That's what you're looking for, but you can't pump there. Um, there is sandworms on there, and you normally find a couple. Um, let's see if we can find some here. But you actually want the water to wash onto the um, sand while you're pumping. So once you look at the hole, you're going to start uh, pumping it about four or five times you pump in the hole. And then you're going to make a whirlwind with your arm. And you work the sand until they're soft. Once you start feeling the worms, don't pull on the worms because they all uh, they break very, very easily. It feels like a, a, a root, a tree root or something like that. So yeah, um, I'm quickly going to see if I can find a couple of, of um, holes. But uh, it, like I said, it is it's hard work to get to get them. But um, yeah, I'm not. I'm only looking for one or two to show you how it actually looks. I'm not looking to. Um, get a lot of, of sand worms now. Careful, so then cut yourself. Um, but once you start feeling them, don't grab them. Keep on turning the sand. Make the hole bigger and bigger and bigger until they're completely loose. That one. That's why I said it's it's hard work to get sandworms. It's not the easiest bite to get, but for Tiembra fishing it is very good. Wait. Okay, here is harder. Rarach. Okay, so that's obviously not what we're looking for. <laughs> Okay, 
I'm just carefully getting it. It is very. The master at work here yeah, is trying to explain how to do it. It's very easy to break them off. I don't want to do that. Now. He's doing it for a living then. <laughs> well done. The master at work. Don't you get them for break? Oh, and yet. Yeah. Yeah, great. So a, nice. There's a little sand one. Well done, well done, guys. Okay. Well done. So there is Hard work. Yeah. So the youngster is quickly going to show us how to do it. Maybe he's got a different technique. So let's see, the master at work, he's a toilet. Master, you. got one. Oh, Leo, Leo. Well done, well done, well done. I seriously, this is a lot of work. And then only the small. Let's see if we can catch a fish with it. I'll say well done, well done. And that's why experience keeps the youngsters away. Yeah? <laughs> Deadly bait, deadly bait. Come young, it's not oh. here now. Youngsters is getting nailed today. The master is at work. Look at him, look at him. Come young. Suddenly they're getting quiet, yeah. <laughs> And the youngsters got some a two in one hole. Ah. Suddenly, suddenly the score starts changing here. Yeah? Three, two. Three, two. The game is on. I think I blew it for him as a way. How is your It's the right. Oh my head, okay, and yet it scored us almost still 4 3 now. 4 3. But I think we've got enough, yeah. Okay, guys, and that's how you do uh, sandworms. So we got a couple of sandworms and a pink prawn. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's more than enough bait. So now let's get to the part that we actually came here to do, and that's fishing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna rinse myself off quickly and uh, then we're gonna get whoo, whoo, nice and cold. Now we're gonna get to the pot, uh, we're gonna get to the fishing pot. Okay, I'm gonna show you the rigs and the setup and everything. Now. <laughs> Mom, you need us? Oh, by painting. A bit paint? Yeah. Oh, let's come on, Iso. It's fine. Stop so many Iso. Okay, so I'm firstly going to explain what we normally fish with. Um, and that is a 4 0 sucker look. And I've got a 2 ounce. Um, Cone sinker, 
on a sliding rig so the sinker will slide on your main line but we are going to be drift fishing today so we're going to take the um, sliding sinker off the big sliding sinker and then I'm going to put a ball sinker just a normal ball sinker because we're drifting I'm just going to put a normal ball sinker there's a thicker one so. no it's just a normal ball sinker on the main line just to keep the bait at the bottom okay so then we're going to tie a normal figure eight knot on there and i'm fishing very light today um, because we're going for granted and stem brass. yeah so that's that's all that i want now okay so why why we drift fishing apart from the fact that Morris forgot the anchor <laughs> <laughs> we are just fishing because you seldom get it that there's no wind and you're actually going to be cruising okay so then we've got these brilliant rod holders um yeah um we'll show you now how it looks when we put all the rod in but but there's one rod in there it can go any direction um it's stainless steel you can also buy them um they are 300 rand each with the base plate and everything um there's your base plate and there's a rod holder as you can see made for deep sea fishing estuary fishing anything that you want um yeah they are actually very very nice fishing if you want rod holders um leave your name in the comment section with um with a number and rod holders if you want hoodies leave your name there and if you're interested in one of the boats that we had uh, playing with today leave your num and say which one the smaller one or the bigger one and then uh, i'll let maris contact you for the rot holders and stuff and i'll contact you for the hoodies and get your sizes and everything okay but yeah that's the way that we're going to do today so my first bait that i'm going to put um in is a little blood worm okay so this is why i said i want small blood worms so i want a small blood worm like that and the only thing i'm going to do is a 40 circle loop through the head okay there's a couple of reasons why i do it like this if you put the um the blood worm through on the line then nizna is is known for the blast off piece so and they will come and peck on your line as they peck on the bait and then once you hook, actually hook a big fish your line will break there so i prefer hooking it just like that um on a circle loop and yeah that's all i'm going to do with that little bait now I'm going to get that one in the water first. And there she goes. Give it a cup of line. Um, I like to have my bait um, nice and far away from the boat. Right about, when I'm drifting, right about 20 meters or so. And um, yeah. The, uh, with a bloodworm, you can pick up a steenbras. Uh, grunt, uh, cob, there's a couple of, of fish you can actually pick up with that. And um, with this lovely rot holders that we've got, uh, you can actually get your lines out exactly where you want them. And um, yeah, as I said, uh, it's the pushing tide now, we're fishing on the pushing tide. And that's the best time to fish. Um, so we're starting low down in the head, and then we work our way up all the way um, as far as we can. And then on high tide we'll sneak back over the same banks to um, where our vehicle is parked. So yeah, that's the plan for now. And we'll see how many rods we can handle. <laughs> but the plan is for two or three. Okay, I said I'll talk to you uh, about the rig that we're using. Um, this is a Shimano 100G that I've got on here. Some of them has got 200Gs on. I'm using 10 kilogram line, uh, not braid this normal monofin line and then I've got a Maxima Green 7 kilogram leader line that I'm using that is my preferred um, one if I'm fishing for grunters and stem brass. because they don't have teeth they've got a very soft mouth you can get away with a lighter leader line and um, yeah look at that perfectly in the rod holder sits in the rod holder at a very nice angle and uh, that's going to be drifting there's three rods in the rod holders and we're drifting sideways now um, yeah, it's working perfectly well. Hopefully, I can show you a fish soon. Uh, Maris, what bait are you going to put on? I think I'm going to go for the Monscane uh, worm. Monscane worm, okay. Um, uh, yeah, we've got four buckets here with a variety of 
of bait and um, yes yo there is and i use transparent bucket so that you can see my bite very nicely there's your mouth going and also the prawns yeah perfect okay so hopefully i can show you a real screaming from a steam okay, so marius is quickly going to show us how he bites up with a moonshine worm right from the back let's call it the, the, the tail side the anus yeah and work it through try not to break the worm right to the head so you can still trace it through right through see there that's your look they go right across that nylon wire is making it a bit difficult but the idea is to go over the shank the back of the line don't want that little nylon wire to cut your bait unfortunately we've got that obstacle so let's work with it for now and then we go right through bring it through expose your hook and then you pull it that's the idea oh look at that beautiful bait and that's it you can go a little bit higher okay but you will break it now so moonshine worm also excellent bait for grunter um, and Stiembras Stompnies will also take that. Uh, Blast Opie and a barber also. <laughs> but, but yeah, let's see what we can uh, catch. At the moment we've got one moonshine worm and one blood worm. Uh, we're first going to figure out the drift and then we'll decide what we're going to do. Okay, guys, so the next bait that I'm going to use is um, also a bait if, if there's not a lot of biting. Your, your blood worm and your moonshine worm is, is more a bait that they will last a little bit longer in water. Now I'm going to use um, a, a prawn. So on a drift, the prawn works very well. So what I want to do is take my four circle look. I'm going to take the tail, and you need fairly big prawns for this because um, I'm using a four o, and you just put it through the tail like that. Okay. So as you can see, I, I pinch the tail there, and it's close. So once this is on the water, it will actually swim in the water. It will crawl, and it's like a little live bait in the water. Um, and I, I was very picky with my prawns as you can see I've got some nice very big lively prawns I didn't take any um, half dead prawns or prawns with eggs so and hopefully I can put most of these back as well in the water so I'm gonna put this one in the water this is gonna be anything will bite on this it's a very versatile bait um, I'm not gonna throw this out very far because otherwise it's gonna to get tangled with the, with the other lines so and this is on very light tackle, same setup that I'm using. Um, yeah, so I've had a lot of success on drift, especially drifting with prawns. I've had a lot of success in, in the past. So yeah, I'm gonna see if I can get something on the drift on the prawn as well. The other lines I'm gonna put out a little bit further. And this one, the other lines I'm gonna do around about 20 meters away from the boat. And then this one I'll probably just do 10 or 15 meters away from the boat so that um, if the boat does turn sideways you don't have lines dangling okay guys so unfortunately we haven't caught any fish yet we had one uh, decent run and Morris had a fish on but uh, it got away the one that got away okay but I said I'll show you three spots on Google Maps so the first spot that I'm going to show you is where um, we started off uh, drifting just drifting today so i'll show you that spot on the google maps and uh, yeah there was a couple of anglers there standing on the side um so we started off there that's a very good spot um close to season island and then the second spot that um, is also a very good spot is is close to the train bridge um currently is lying about there but i'll mark the whole spot on Google on Google Earth, I'll mark the whole spot for you. Um, 
right there that's a great area to fish for grunt and sea bass and then the third spot is where we are currently it's like a little side channel just after the drain bridge here you can see the drain bridge and um, yeah we're drifting into the channel the current is pushing us into into the channel over here so and i'll mark that one on google earth for you as well okay guys so i mentioned these rod holders to you uh, when we started out and um, yeah now we're fishing with them and just look how beautiful these rods are sitting here in the boat so you can turn them in any angle and then you can lock them here at the bottom you've got a lock uh, butterfly that you can lock them with but yeah you can turn them in any angle like that one's showing to the back at the moment um but i really like about these ones is that if there's a fish that bites you can just pick your rod up okay uh, and when you also when you set it, it set your rod down it's just in there and the rod's down um and nice for trolling um and they're made of nice thick stainless steel i'm very very impressed with the rod rollers um i would be even more impressed if there was a fish that was biting then i would really be impressed okay guys so what's actually very very nice about this boat is that we are doing this in extremely shallow waters normally we would have to go all the way around um, but yeah we're sneaking here in between the road um, through and now yeah it's going to be a short short drive back to the, to the vehicles of course we can sneak through um, the small little channels okay now it's very shallow at the back okay but that wraps up our episode um, i'll show you when you get the boat back on the boat unfortunately no fish today but we did manage to show you how to bait how to get bait um, and yeah remember please 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 like the video please guys like the video and um, leave a comment if you want rod holders or the boat or blow down moodies uh, leave a comment and leave your number of what, what you want and i'll get back to you